the challenge was as we had was when we bought this farm we doubled our herd yet our, we outgrew our herringbone at the original farm and we needed to cut down our milking time and get our day back yeah that was yeah, we're spending up to 10, 10 plus hours in the dairy a day and that was pretty well what we're doing is milking cows and feeding cows and not getting our jobs done. Alright, this is Ali and Robert and this is Max Welton Robotics Dairies. We milk on 240 acres here and milking 180 cows through three robots. So originally there was a 16 a side herringbone dairy here. We didn't want to milk in two dairies, so the decision was made to go down this path of robotic dairy. So we've converted the herringbone into this robot dairy, and the biggest advantage was the saving of using the current infrastructure. Mm, there's a lot of concrete, and it hadn't been down that long. We couldn't see the benefit in, in um, starting that back up without uh, spending a fair bit of money to get it to a modern dairy sort of thing. To prepare this site, we talked to Craig about what needed to be done, which was to remove the old herringbone, which was pretty well up there, up here, and um, get rid of all the steel work and all the old machinery. So yeah, we built the shed at the same time, and then just did all the little bits of concreting. It's quite easy, just, you know, just need a bit of time and a bit of manpower. So the biggest advantage was we currently had a vat room with a new vat in it. Um, Power was already connected to the site and existing ethanol ponds here. So it's a massive saving financially and convenience. After three days of running the cows through the, the robots, they got used to the robots themselves. And then it was more so getting the cows used to Walking. transitioning from the, the paddocks. After two weeks, they sort of started to move themselves and then probably four weeks in, everything got easier. Yeah. They were walking through the night by four weeks, yeah. which is the goal. Mm. When you know they're walking while you're in bed, yeah. Mm. That's when you hit the jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a great feeling watching the cows for the first time bring themselves home to get milk. It was like, oh, look at this, this is awesome. Yeah. That's when you know you've turned its corner yeah. and it's, it's, yeah, it's got the hardest bit behind you. We had our challenges at the time. It was the middle of winter and it was, wasn't the best best weather, but the cows, yeah, cows were good. No. They, um, it was hard watching them be scared of the startup. That was hard, but I was also very proud of them when they got better each day. Yeah, I actually still get a little bit not excited, but a really good feeling watching them do it, like use it. And people in Lilydale will say that they see those the cows. And they know they've taken themselves to get milk, and it's pretty exciting. Yeah. This time last year, we were very tired, people, and our days were a lot shorter. Shorter now, we're getting home a little bit earlier, even though Robert will still find something to do on the farm. And I feel like the weight's been lifted off our shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I was considering putting a, a robot dairy in, had and was hesitant, I'd I'd go have a look at other dairies and and try and spend a bit of time with other robotic farms. Number one would be going to visit as many farms as we can. That's the best way, like, yeah, 100% that's the best way to learn how they work and see the end result. Mm -hmm. So our long term goals would be to continue dairy um, and move with the new technology um, and take advantage of that to make life a bit easier and encourage the next generation or younger generation to get involved and enjoy it. Yeah. And Just get a bit of a life off the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Go fishing. <Yeah. laughs> Robert's the fourth generation, so it'd be really good to see it continue. Yeah. I'd like to see the kids enjoy it and have that good work life balance so that, yeah, and not resent it and want to get out of it. Because it is a great job, but it can also get relentless and find that right balance, which is what we're trying to do at the moment. Too. Mm.